that name before. And he was British. He was one of those great so-called Egyptologists. So the point is there, man. Here's another guy, Adolf Ehrman. Doesn't sound too Egyptian to me. All right? <laughs> Here's another character, Bernard Payne Grenfeld. All right? Here's another character, which he's probably of uh, Arab ex uh, extract, Zah Zahi Hawass. Okay? <laughs> Carl Richard Lep Lepasius. That don't sound too Egyptian. You know, uh, Gaston Mas Maspero, Augustus Mari Marionette. All right, so, you know, that's the point. All right, so basically anything these so-called Egypt Egyptologists bring out, I'm talking about Polite or Saw Nigger or them clowns, all their information pretty much goes back to these names you will see in post-production, somewhere down the line. Con, yeah, and, and I got a scripture here to back that up. No, because you basically what you're doing is you're trusting in the de in the devil. Right. You know, this is uh, uh, Job 13 and 4. But ye are forgers of lies. You are all physicians of no value. So all the information that they give you is just stuff that they put together. You know? And you can't really go back and, and uh, you'll see like certain artifacts that they've dug up and stuff. But really, the excavations of of what was known today as archaeology goes back to like the mid 1700s into the 1800s. That's when they first started excavating these things, and they're giving you dates based off of of off of their theories and and their uh, uh, um, anecdotes that they put together. You know, you ain't go you you guys out there that call yourselves Egyptologists or Kemet. You're not you're not going out there and and you don't know the science of of uh, or you're not doing actual tests to find out. They're not archaeologists. None of them are archaeologists, man. All right? Like right here, okay, this is uh, page 50 of uh, the Dictionary of Biblical Archaeology. I, li I, like, I, like, I like, you know, like you're shy. You, see, you know, I got this book here. You the new, you can't get this book. The New International Dictionary of Biblical Archaeology. We we agree that the, that Egypt Egypt existed, you know, and most of that information you come out with about Egypt, it, it, for the most part, is true, because it's in the scriptures, all right. Um, here's some uh, noted uh, archaeologists, historians, whatever you want to call them. Okay, this is uh, one. Okay, uh, F. J. Bliss. Um, two. Sir Charles Wilson. Look up Sir, Sir Charles Wilson. You got, if you go to four, picture number four, it's uh, Jean, Jean Francois, I think it's pronounced, Champion Lyon. Okay. Then you have five, you have a Sir Charles Warren. What name did I say? Okay, there's two, there's, okay, Sir, okay, there's a Sir, Sir Charles Warren, and there's a Sir Charles Wilson. I want you to look up Sir Charles Wilson and see what happens. And that's number, number two. I don't see no pictures of Dr. Ben up in here. I don't see no pictures of uh, uh, any other black so-called archaeologists. You, everything you learned, you learned from the white man. Okay, what does it say on him? You don't got to go all into it. Yeah, um, again, this is from uh, Wikipedia. Charles Rivers Wilson, uh, 1831 to 1916, was a British, uh, Brit British, civil servant and financier. Wilson was born in London on 19th February 1831. He studied at Eton College and uh, Balliol College, Oxford. He entered the Treasury in 1856 and was private secretary to the Chancellor of, of exec, Exchequer, Robert Lowe. Uh, whilst holding this position, Wilson visited Egypt in, uh -oh. in 1876. And he was appointed a government director of the Suez Canal Company. What 
year was that? Uh, 1876. Because yeah, um, in the 1800s, that's when they were doing their most uh, um, digging, for a lack of a better word, uh, archaeological digs. Gone. Early in 1878, he was selected as vice president of the commission to inquire into the uh, Egyptian financial situation. A few months later, Wilson was nominated financial financial minister in Egypt. And I bet you that uh, undoubtedly he had connection with the uh, connections with the Rothschilds, even though it's not mentioned. But there's the point: he was a British civil servant. And he was more, yeah, he worked. Khan, he was more of an Egyptologist than you, polite. <laughs> and so was polite, polite. Just a bullshit. He's a bullshit. Artist. Artist. Polite, polite is a snake oil salesman. That's Khan. all he is. But it worked. Yeah, that's Apep the snake. Hey, the, the people that you you're gonna have people following you, but you're gonna have them zombies, man. Them 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 uh, con- um them conscious and black. Unconscious zombie follow your ass, man. See this that shit doesn't work on people like us. All right. Yeah, uh, another character that should be mentioned is Alistair Crawley. There's pictures of Alistair Crawley in full Egyptian garb, man. All right. And Alistair Crawley, he, this guy, he, he lives, sleep, breathe, eat shit, Egyptology philosophy. Okay, you. Uh, your brother should Google, uh, when you get a chance, Google this guy, Alistair Crawley. He was heavy into that Egyptology crap. But uh, not one of them guys will go back and live in Egypt, man. They'll take a visit. They'll take a week visit. And then they were ready to get back on the plane and take their black asses back to uh, Babylon. Where they're going to get destroyed if they're here because they ain't going to make it. Lord ain't gonna, Lord ain't going to have no... Um, uh, comedic people in, in the ships, okay? Because there's going to be, we're going to be delivered out of here. America's going to be, um, America, America's going to, uh, Babylon, I'll say, I don't I keep saying America, Babylon is going to be destroyed. The new Babylon, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed by a thermonuclear war that's going to take place between, uh, that's going to happen between uh, uh, Russia and and America and other countries that are going to join in with Russia, and it's all going to be, um, it's it's all going to escalate when you actually when 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 uh BB Netanyahu uh, goes down into Iran and starts to attack it, and it's going to le- it's going to cause the, uh, the, uh, the 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 Russian military and and the, and the, the the head of Russia, which is uh, Putin, and he hates he hates Babylon. It's gonna cause him to go down there, and it's gonna turn into a. It's gonna turn into a a, um, a world war. Give me Revelation twenty and seven. All right, this is the book of uh, Revelation, the twentieth chapter, and the seventh verse. See, because unlike unlike them other BS books that you have, the Bible has uh, is a historical record. It's also uh, uh, filled with prophecies. You know, and, and things that are happening around the world and have happened. You know, and no other book can claim that. This is our Revelation chapter 20, verse 7. It says, And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Now, this goes back during a time when the so-called white man, the Edomites, uh, were uh, sub- in subjection to Israel for a period of a thousand years up in Europe. And then after that thousand year period, which was prophecy, they came out of out of their condition and started to build themselves up during what you call the Renaissance period. So after they were loose out of that 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 prison, out of, out of that sentence, they started going around and lying to the world and and causing what you see today in the world. It says, uh, "And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth." And that's what they've done. They've deceived all the nations on the planet. That's why you think that the so-called white man is God and Jesus and all that. It says, uh, it says, um, Gog and Magog to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as a, <coughs> excuse me, as the sands of the sea. So Gog and Magog represent what you know today as Russia. So those Russians are the ones that, that are being stirred up. 
That's why the Lord keeps causing certain things to happen, you know, to where Russia keeps getting involved. You know, uh, the, the so-called um, Israelis, or them gutter rats and Edomites, they're uh, uh, puffing at uh, Iran, you know, to, to get engage them because they want to take over that region, you know, because they pose a threat to them, you know. And um, and that's going to cause Russia to come in there. And it's going to cause America to get involved. You know, so once that whole situation goes down, you, you better believe that World War III is... is